At the recent Dakota Fest Farm Show, we caught up with the good folks from Prairie State Seed out of Northeast Nebraska. We do everything from pasture mixes, irrigated and dry land, to CRP, conservation, grasses, to cover crops, lawn seed, wildlife food plots. And what's, uh, you know, what's the feedback you get from someone that uses this for the first time? Oh, you know, I, I guess on the cover cropping deal, um, you know, a lot of guys are doing it for the first time with some cost share assistance mm -hmm. through the FSA or something. And uh, some of them are doing it, you know, more because it's part of their plan. And a lot of them are pretty surprised with the results. And, but uh, you do need to remember that when you do cover cropping that sometimes it's not instant results. That payback isn't instant. It, it may take a year or two to, to get sure. the, the payback on it, but long term generally the cover crops are going to improve your soil health. Most guys that approach me already are, are thinking about it, have some interest in it, and they're looking for information. Uh, or they've tried a few things that may or may not have worked very well and they're looking for other suggestions and ideas. And, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, just an ever-changing learning process. What works on your farm yeah. may not work on your neighbor's farm right next door because he just manages slightly differently. So you can't, it's not a cookie cutter, right. one size fits all. We deal with people from multiple states. Yeah. Um, you know, rainfalls that get down to around 10 to 12 inches to over 40, and uh, soil types from very, very fertile to very poor. And uh, so it's a little challenge to keep up on, on uh, all the different aspects of that, of what works well and all those. But after enough years of doing this, I've got a pretty good idea when somebody calls me. Number one, we find out what, what the, whether they're wanting to establish pasture or whether they're wanting to do cover yeah. crops or whatever, we find out what, what, what their rainfall is, uh, kind of what kind of fertility they have, natural soil fertility, you know, what the past management has been, and then we try and uh, you know, put something together that's going to work for them, whether they're wanting to establish permanent pasture or whether they're wanting to do cover crops, we just try and fit something. And uh, on the cover crop side, seldom do you ever get it right the first time. Do some research. Um, there's a lot of information online. Uh, you know, give me a call. Um, contact me via email, whatever. You know, and uh, you know, I've usually got a series, standard series of questions I ask to get a feel of w what you're wanting to do or, or and and what you have to work with, and uh, we can go from there. And I have um, other people in the business. If we're doing irrigated pasture, I've got a guy that uh, I'm good at the seed. I've got another guy that I can recommend you to that uh, he, he, he's good with the water development, the fence development, uh, the management, setting down with you and putting some dollars and cents, is this going to work for me? And uh, so I've got some, some of those kind of people that I can recommend that uh, can help you with some other aspects of it besides the seed. Thanks for being a part of the Machinery Pete Spotlight video.